Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for a much anticipated main event. 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Rusher's giving us one of those attitudes like, hey, it's just another day at the office. I know exactly what I'm about to do. Romero's making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle. First round underway in this scheduled 10-rounder. He loves popping that jab. I mean, he will target your head and set up everything else off of that punch. Well, he'll push you back a little bit off the jab, and then he fools you a little bit. You know, he's a little bit of a magician, a little sleight of hand. Then he makes you feel like he's going to push you back again, and he'll step back, and he'll counter you. But that jab is what makes it all happen. Good block there by Crusher. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whip. Gloves, he needs to extend them just a little bit away. So as you said, those punches, you know, aren't going to force their way through to the target, which they're doing right now. They're getting down to him. They're getting through to him. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Crusher. That straight right unable to connect. The killer's now having to deal with a bloody nose, and that can be a real distraction, especially Just when it like comes that. to your breathing. Just like that. Oh, what a power punch he was able to land there. Joe, that's what you call setting up a trap. Not a mouse trap, but a punch trap. Set back a little bit, invited him in, bang. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Crusher. The killer's got to do more than this. I mean, you can't just sit there. Romero's almost out of it there. He was. Did you see that? And he goes down again. Will he get up from this? Three, four, five. Well, that's the best noise he could ever hear. The bell to end that round. He was getting battered there. Romero's lucky the bell rang when it did. But it's little consolation to him because guess what? There's still plenty of bells and they're not the church bells ringing in his head. Not getting it done with that straight right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Good double jab by Romero. A fierce right hand by the killer. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Wow, he goes down again. He's gonna be caught the elevator fight. Up and down all night. Five. Romero's still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Crusher's at his best when the combinations are landing. He scored well there with that combo. The killer's wanting the counterpunch here. 
But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the rings, especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought the kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. And round seven. As we start round number eight, chance to look at Teddy's scorecard, and nothing has really changed. He's been in complete control the whole night, almost getting his opponent into that desperate place, but I don't think he has the answers. Well, somebody needs to tell him. I'll tell you the answer. Somebody needs to tell him that it's not against the law to move your head, make a punch miss. He got hit, but he sends it right back. Targeting that jab with the right hand behind it. The killer's defense is it ever good. Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. Right hand crashes home. He never, and bang, and away he goes. Knock down again. Unreal. Now you got to wonder what the corner's thinking. Are they going to stop this? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's all over. Romero's a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. It's late.